Hey guys, Patrick Franz here. I'm gonna tell you today about my top four exit strategies when buying a first lien non-performing note. A non-performing note is a note in which a homeowner is living at a house but not paying their mortgage payment. That means they're in delinquency. That means if they're in delinquency, they're more than 90 days behind on mortgage payments, right? And they're in threat of being foreclosed upon. As a note investor, we have some wonderful exit strategies and options prior to moving to last resort, which is the fourth exit strategy in a non-performing note, and we'll get to that. But the last resort should be to foreclose on a family. That's why note investing is so great. We can always look at win-win situations to help people provide value for others while making a great return as an investor. That's why notes are so great. But let's talk about non-performing note exit strategies and at least my top four. Well, I'll tell you this, number one is a loan modification. Right? And the reason why a loan modification is so attractive is because of this. We've obviously bought or paid a discount. We've purchased this note at a discount. All notes should be sold at a discount or purchased at a discount, but non-performing notes that are a little hairy, they have some problems, they're delinquent, they need to be worked on, those non-performing notes are sold at a bit of a deeper discount. So that's one great reason that we buy them, but look, it gives you room to move, right? Let me give you an example by easy numbers. If a homeowner owes $100,000 to the bank and they're delinquent, maybe could be foreclosed upon, and I was able to pick up that non-performing note for $70,000, well, I paid $70,000 as an investor for a hundred grand worth of debt, right? Let me ask you this. Would it be maybe smart for me to do a loan modification for those folks? Maybe be able to wipe some debt off, wipe some penalties off, wipe some arrears away and really work with them to make it a win situation for this homeowner where they can get back on track. Maybe they can start affording their regular mortgage payment again. And now what I've done is taken a really highly discounted non-performing note and turned it into a wonderful cash flowing performer that is now valued uh, much higher in the secondary mortgage market. And also look, I'm collecting passive cash flow at a great discount. So I've got to have a wonderful yield so I would always choose a loan mod number one. It's a total win-win situation. Now let's say that you were able to do some new underwriting on the non-performing borrower to see why maybe they can't afford the payment or maybe what payment can they afford uh, by checking the income and the tax returns and those kinds of things and re-underwrite that, that uh, borrower. And maybe you find out that they just really can't afford any type of loan mod option. And uh, the poor folks don't wanna be foreclosed on, which is again number four, what we're gonna get to, but look, in number two, my, my second exit strategy is I could offer what's called a deed in lieu of foreclosure. That means that the borrower would deed the house back to the bank, which is you, the note investor. They deed the house back to the bank, avoid foreclosure, and walk away clean. And that is an option, and that could be a win-win situation still, depending on whether or not they can afford uh, a valid payment or, or be able to afford to live there any longer. If they can't, hey, why don't they just deed the house back to the bank? and they can walk away clean and avoid foreclosure. That's an option. Now, maybe somebody's gotten themselves in a worse financial position um, and then, than we think and then we understand. And maybe they can't even afford to move and they would like to deed the house back to the bank, but they can't even afford to move or put a deposit on a new place or something like that. So number three is called cash for keys or you could say cash for deed, right? And it's just for us as lenders, if we've purchased at a fair discount, if we're gonna make out really well as an investor and we're gonna make a great profit, uh, maybe here, here, here's the thing. Maybe we're going to have to pay money for a foreclosure attorney in all be all. And rather than pay money to a foreclosure attorney, maybe we can give that money two grand, three grand, four grand, who knows? It depends on the scenario, but maybe we can actually gift a monetary gift to the homeowner in order to help them or incentivize them to be able to sign the house over to us and walk away clean and be able to afford to do so, afford moving costs, afford a deposit on their next place and really help a family relocate. That's a great option. And that's number three, which was cash for keys, call it cash for deed. But then again, guys, remember as a note investor, we have the security of the collateral. We have the security instru instrument that collateralizes physical piece of real estate to us as the bank in case of delinquency or performance on that mortgage note payment. So uh, the last resort guys, number four, is we do get to go through a judicial foreclosure and we get to end up owning that real estate. And you know what I always preach, we've invested far less than what our collateral is worth. So in the case of receiving the real estate back in a non-performing note scenario, we know that we're gonna be able to make an amazing profit. But guys, 
I choose those four and I choose those four in that order. So let me remind you first, I want to try to do a loan mod and help a family out. Then I want to do a deed in lieu and see if they want to sign the house over and walk away. Third would be cash for keys where I help them with a financial incentive or help them be able to relocate financially. And number four and final is a foreclosure. But guys, all of those usually work out for us as a note investor if we've done our due diligence and we've bought properly uh, all of those can be a win for us so guys those are my four common exit strategies for non-performing note i will see you next video hit like hit subscribe ciao i'm out